Hey guys, so I've got a collective haul for you today, which I have, I went shopping yesterday and because just went shopping for myself and then my sister went shopping, ouch that hurt, my sister went shopping for some, she had some gift vouchers that she got for her birthday so we went today as well and I bought some stuff on both days because we went to different shopping centres because she liked a different one to me and yeah so I'll start out with I got a few things. I got nail polish, jewelry, some lush products, and then I've got some style books. Like, I'll get to that when I talk about them. But basically, I got really good deals and everything, and some things were on sale. But I'll start off with nail polish because I thought that was the most exciting part, apart from some items of jewelry. But I got three. One's a BYS, and it is the Purple Quake. And it's a really pretty, um, it's like a dark pinkish purple colour, which will look really pretty over one of these nail polishes. But that was $4 and I got it from Kmart, I believe. But that was a really good deal and if it doesn't really work, but it doesn't really matter, but I hope it does. I mean, it looks like it would, but again, most products do, so. Then this one is my favourite out of the two and I'm wearing it right now. It is this blue shimmery sort of colour. It's got glitter in it. The camera isn't doing it justice at all. And it's called Swimsuit Nailed It. And then I got Fly by Nicki Minaj from the Nicki Minaj collection. And it is this really pretty turquoise colour. And I'm going to be using this next maybe. Oh, they're really summery sort of colours. Like, this is a summery colour and this is what I'd wear to, like, a pool party or something. I mean, I'm going to wear this to school, but it sort of matches my uniform, but anyway. And then I went to Diva and I bought five things. Actually, one of the things were given to me by my sister because she can't wear them. She could only wear one from the set. So, she bought little studs. And they were dangly ones, but, um... She can't, well she can wear studs but she prefers not to, I don't know why, but she didn't really like them that much, so I got them. And the first one is a little butterfly, and then there's some roses, and I think they're on sale maybe, but I'm not quite sure about the details because I didn't buy them. And then I got another pair of earrings, um, they're little owls, and I thought they were really cute, oh it's a little skew with if I love that word. And they're gold, but the camera isn't really bringing them out. And then they've got little diamantes in for eyes. And then I got two dainty necklaces because I'm I, I'm obsessed with dainty necklaces. And I really love them like a lot. And they were three dollars each from well, this one's supposed to be twelve and then this one is supposed to be ten. And this first one it is gold and it has this little leaf sort of thing on the end and it's supposed to have a bird in the middle but it fell off like as I was buying it so I got a sale like a discount on it from well 75% off that's more no wait 75% off was a pretty good deal so I bought it because I like the colour and I just like layering. I mean, if you've got like two or three other necklaces, like wearing it at the same time, no one's really going to notice if the bird's missing. But then I got this name letter necklace. Not name letter. And it's a C if I can stop it from shaking around. And it was $3 and it's silver. And I've been looking everywhere from letter for letter necklaces. And I can find some, it's just that they're a bit too expensive for like little necklaces that I could just find easily. So I got this one for $3 because I've got a gold one that's a bit similar but like the letter's a bit different. And But I wanted one that was silver so I bought this. I'm going to rip this because my cold so fast, it's a bit weird right. And then I bought, this was my most exciting purchase I have I think. And it is these stuff of bracelets most expensive thing that I got too. Oh, that's that. And they're all gold and white. 
and I'll show you some of the different types different type bracelets. You've just got your plain pearls, like pretty standard, normal type of bead bracelet. Then you've just got a whole stack of random, like plain ones. That, like a little good stacking ones. I could probably wear these plain if I wanted to. I've got a whole bunch of similar ones to these as well. And then we've got some little um, hard bracelets with a charm on it. And this one's got a little rose and I thought it was cute. And then that's another kind of pearl one. Oh, this one's a really cool one I thought. This was the one that made me sort of want to get it. Because I couldn't find one that was single from like the same colour scheme. So it's like a chain and then a ribbon wrapped around. It's got a little clasp. So it's not like going to be breakable or anything. But I thought it was really cool. And I liked it. And it's really kind of feminine. But it's sort of a bit edgy at the same time. So I thought that was a really cool thing. And then I'm not sure if I showed you one. But it's just beaded with a little charm. And that one's a butterfly. But I thought this one's cool too. And it's pearls. And then I've got three charms on it with, on a chain and that's butterfly, a love heart and another butterfly and that's, oh here's another one, so the plain one with butterfly, they're all pretty cool and I think that's all that I got from Diva, okay and the bracelets were about $25 for all of them so that was a pretty good deal even though they're a little bit expensive but well obviously I spent the money on it so it's my own money so then next I went to Lush, and Lush is one of my absolute favourite stores, Like, but I can't go in there for too long because sometimes I get a bit of a headache from all the scents, but, so sometimes I have to be kind of quick in there, but basically today I got three items, I got soap, like a chunk of soap, then I've got two bubble bars, like the dust sort of, not the dust, the powder one on my nose then, um, my soap I got was Bohemian, and it smells like citrus and it's got lemon yes it says it's got lemon in it lemon oil and that's all it says in it but it's this really pretty um yellowish colour the camera isn't really doing much for it but and it smells sort of like sexy peel I smelt both of them and I don't know why but I preferred this one better even though they smelled kind of similar and so that was, I think, be six dollars ninety five for hundred grams, and it was eight dollars fifty for this much. And that lasts me a while, but it's gonna be really good in the morning when I need to pick me up or something just to get me awake or something. Then I got two bubble bars, and they're both the bubble rooms. And this first one is the rose jam one, and it's pink and it smells like roses. And it's got this weird thing on it to keep it together, but it's a bit like lip balm almost. But it's sort of like Vaseline, but it's kind of really cool. But it sort of melted a bit, so it leaked all over the bag. And um, but I don't know what it is. So if someone knows, can they leave it in the comments below? Because I sort of want to use it on my lips, but I don't really want to do something bad with it. But it could just be like a bath melt to like your bath a bit. And that was six dollars fifty and this could be split into two baths or even four if you're really like good at splitting them but I'll probably just do two because it's just a bit simple for me. And then this one is the Yuzu coconut Yuzu cocoa bubble rune bubble bar and it smells like coconut macaroons and this one hasn't fallen apart the little mixture inside it has kept it together and that's not as thin as this one as this one but it smells like coconut macaroons and it smells really good. I only had my first coconut macaroon like a month ago so I smelled this a while back and I didn't know what it smelled like so now I know because it doesn't really say what it smells like. It says yuzu yuzu should yuzu this yuzu inspired treat. What's yuzu? It doesn't even say. Um, 
When you use you feel the need for softer skin than the positive outlook. Okay, well I have no idea, so if someone else knows what that is, they can also leave that in the comments below, please. Um bitch, I think that's all I got from Lush, and that was six dollars fifty two. And then okay. These are kind of really cool. I'm obsessed with books and if you guys I know heaps of people are too, but these are really cool books. I mean, they're all about style and beauty and fashion. And this one is Ultimate Fashionista, the young Hollywood style guide. And I'll just give you a show of some of the pages. Like, has some different celebrities. What was that? I have no idea. And has some different celebrities. And this one is Selena Gomez. And it just gives you like a summary of their style and types of things that they wear. And see, this is Nina Dobrev, who's off the Vampire Diaries. And some photos and pictures. And then that's one of the chapters. It's 30 people under 30. And then some different brands like Nicole Richie's House of Harlow. So it just gives you like a little, another little summary of it. And I thought that was really cool. And then just some random, who else? Influ influential people. Like, who are some of these people? Some of these people are from Australia, so there's people you wouldn't know. But this one is Samantha Harris, and she was a model. She won, I think it was Girlfriend? Girlfriend Dolly, yes. Girlfriend Model Search in 2004, and she won it. I remember her being on the cover. So she's an influential person. And then it's just got some quizzes at the end and cool things. I might do a... Oh, and this is an interview from the person who sells La Vista, the jewellery line. And I'll probably do a book review on it just because I like it so much. And I finished it and it's really good. And then the second one that I got, which I got yesterday, but I'm already about halfway through. I've just been reading it non-stop. And it's Lauren Conrad's style. And it's got a few, it's got quite a few chapters, but um, basically it's got fashion and it's got stuff like building your wardrobe and um, how to shop and building the perfect closet and accessories. And then I'm up to beauty and it's all about makeup and hair. And then I'll give you a quick insight into some. Like, let's see a good page like swimwear on ebay like tips for buying it and stuff so you don't get to so get the right fit and you don't have to send it back and jeans like the types of different jeans and how to keep them safe so they don't get wrecked and just, oh gosh and then i've got different types of outfits to wear and i should just say that i love lauren conrad like she's one of my favorite people and then just some looks. Like this is where I'm up to a daytime look. But I'll probably do another book review on both of them. And different, what different um, brushes are for. And so yeah, that's all I got. I haven't finished that, but I'll do another review when I have. And that's all I got. So I hope that you like this video. Subscribe, comment, you know, the usual sort of stuff. I hope this video hasn't gone too long. Oh my god, 14 minutes almost. So I'll just say bye.